In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up your facility information in Posture Screen as soon as you download it. So as soon as you download it, you'll see the icon on your desktop of your iPhone or your iPad. You'll go ahead and click it. And at the first startup, you'll want to click OK. Now, if you hit cancel, that's fine. I'll show you how to get to this section after we fill in the information. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then it literally comes up with what you want to put in. So we're going to go ahead and just put in some information here. So Posture Co. Uh, demo clinic. Um, I'm going to put our Posture Co. address. Little road. We're going to go ahead and put in city, state, or postal. Now, this would be the office phone. And the office email. Now, something to keep in mind, um, this contact information, this is not going to be the email. This does not, I repeat, this does not control the email that is sending this. You need to pay attention to your default emails on the device that, it, that generates a lot of confusion. Okay, this will be for the reports. So we're going to go ahead and put info at. And I say that because Posture Screen is not an email client. All we do is hand off to the native Apple email system. What that means is you need to set up the actual email on Apple's own app for mail, not a third party app, but we have tutorials on that. So I stress to you, please set that mail up if this is a new device specifically. Again, we have tutorials. So we're gonna go ahead and put the, the uh, website. So you put your clinic or facility website here. This is important because um, it's clickable on the website, or excuse me, on the PDF. Do I want uh, blind copies going somewhere? We can go ahead and, and put that there or copy reports. Um, a lot of people have multiple email ad addresses. Sometimes what they like to do is have a compliance email that everything is sent through or others like to have their assistant uh, emailed. So when they get the email of their record, they can go ahead and put it into the, the chart. Um, it depends on you know your workflow. And if you're gonna email anything to your clients, be sure to have their, their permission. If you're a provider, a healthcare provider in the United States, it doesn't hurt to have that in your paperwork, uh, them signing off that you can um, send them uh, healthcare documents via email. Um, it doesn't preclude, HIPAA does not preclude using email, you just need to have their permission is all. So I'm gonna skip these two for right now, uh, just because I don't have an alternate email that I wanna uh, send to. Um, actually, no, I do. Um, I'm going to put info. Actually, no, I'm going to put um, sales. Now, of course, you'd put whatever you want there. Now we're going to hit done. Now it's set up and ready to use. The next thing is, is that if you're uh, pulling this over and you have a prior subscription, you're going to go ahead and come into upgrades. And then you're going, it will, it should automatically unlock just like it did here. But if it does not, you just down here at the bottom, click restore purchases button. And when you click restore purchases button, it may have you log in and then unlock it. Now it will only unlock these features if you actually have a valid subscription. Okay. So here you can see that I'm on the initial trial subscription still until August 23rd. When you make a purchase of Posture Screen, it now comes with 30 days of unlimited use, okay? And then at the end, you can go ahead and decide if you wanna do a monthly or yearly subscription. So now, uh, the next thing you would do is if you have uh, a cloud that you've been using before, if you've used Posture Screen, you click to sync screen and backups and log in to your sync screen cloud. That's where your data would live if you set that up on prior iOS devices. And that's it. So now it's time for you to watch the training tutorials on how to use Posture Screen. And just remember, on Posture Screen, you have these handy little how to use buttons in red down here, how to use Posture Screen. 
and it will click and open up the tutorials, okay? So the tutorials are always there. And another way to get to the tutorials is at the top, you're gonna to say how to use and visit main help page. And this is the, the main help tutorials. And on the, on the left here, it says getting started, right? Getting started tutorials. This is everything. These first few are the ones that you should really focus on, okay, on iOS. You can get to that through our main website. It's under the help and support, and it's under knowledge base. If you have additional questions, reach out to us at support at posturescreen.com or info at posturescreen.com. Thank you.